Welcome to today's episode of Dear Dr. Clarity. Today's episode is about how to read nonverbal behaviors, how to do some people reading. And the three nonverbals that I want to share with you today are, first of all, this one. And this is something you want to see if you're out on a date because it means you're making the other person feel good about themselves while they're talking. People only do this when they share something they're proud of. It sort of means, I'm good. I'm attractive. So if I was on a date, I'd be looking to see my date doing that because I figure that's the best thing you can do on a date is make the other person feel good about themselves. Same when you're with your friends and coworkers. The second nonverbal I want to share with you today is this one. And that's what I'm going to call shoe fly. People will usually do it on their leg and they might even do it on the chair next to them. And they only do it when they're talking about something they really want to shoo out of their life. So if someone says to me, you know, Dr. Clarity, yesterday in our coaching session, I was really upset when you said that thing about my boyfriend. And they're going like this. I know I need to believe them. They really want to shoo away what I shared with them. And the final nonverbal I want to share with you today is this one. And it's a movie you're going to see people make a lot now that we're discussing it. And it means I'm threatened. You know, you picture maybe someone going for the juggler, the other person's juggler, and they're protecting their juggler. And this comes down to coyotes. When they kill their small prey, they do it in like a second. And they go, and the carotid artery bursts, and the little prey is gone. And that's probably why people do this when they're threatened. So if you're at a party, and you're talking to someone, you see them doing this, you're probably intimidating them and not really making them feel at ease. So thank you and have a great day.